we go on our first date. Yes, today we are back with the next part of Butterfly Kisses on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you have not seen the other ones, catch up on that playlist right here. We went up, we went down, we've gone sideways, wrapped around, but finally, 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 Brie and Miles have talked about their feelings with each other. We are getting closer to the healthy, positive relationship we have dreamed of between these two. We've had a lot of bumps in the road and some roadblocks, period, but we're getting past them. The GPS has taken us to the right destination. Hopefully we get there sooner rather than later, although we are only halfway through this story, so it would not surprise me if we have some more roadblocks. Patrick, ooh, is still at the large too, as is Chrissy McKay. As is the disgusting frat boys, which mind you, the last one ended with the frat boys talking about putting something in Gia's drink and Miles overheard. And yes, I do hope he goes in and beats their ass. So let's see what happens. I'm ready. I'm ready for hands to be thrown in this chapter. Please go follow the amazing author Brie. Go read her stories on the app. She is such an amazing author. You will not be disappointed. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, they're at the Christmas party. It looks like a Christmas hoedown over there. But those characters, mm, our favorites. Is someone there? Gianna? Uh, uh, are you okay? I feel dizzy. You've been drinking? Did you not leave? There wasn't supposed to be any alcohol here. Some guy left a bottle on the bench and I thought, is this another year? Well, I have nothing else better to do since no one wants to talk to me anyway. Wait here, let me get you some water. Oh no, Gia's, Gia has some drinks. That eggnog was spiked. Are you cold? No, I'm here. Thanks. You shouldn't be drinking, especially alone. I'm fine, Miles. Since when did you become such a goody two-shoes? Just worried about you. Stop worrying. I just had a few sips. Why didn't you come find me? I could have, we could have. Um, you're always with the mean girls. I'd rather be with you. Oh, really? Haven't heard that laugh in a while. Mm, I missed your smell. My smell, what? <laughs> she's like, she's like, I love your smell. He's like, my smell. Your jacket, it smells like you. I've always liked you, Miles. I've always liked you, Gianna. No, I've always really, 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 really liked you. You're drunk. Um, I've always liked you, but you never liked me back. And that's why we're not friends anymore. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you being serious? Do you mean that? The truth is coming out. It The alcohol has he helped that truth come flying right out. Why is she laughing? I want to tell you. I want to tell you so bad. Tell me what. What's he going to do it? You're really cute when you're all giggly like this. I want to see more of this Christmas party, to be honest. Oh, we got to see more of the Christmas party. Perfect. I got my wish. Your friends probably want you to get back to the party. You don't have to hang out with me anymore. I've pretty much sobered up already. It's not like you're forcing me. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Miles, I've always been afraid to tell you the truth. But maybe it's time I... Daddy? Oh. Gianna Moon, do you realize how much trouble you should be in right now? Merry Christmas, Mr. Moon! Thanks for calling me, Miles. You snitch! How could you betray me like this? I told you I was worried. I needed to know you would get home safe. Get your behind in the car right now, Gia. We will talk about this in the morning. Please don't be too mad at her. She snuck out to a party and got herself drunk. Adorable want to put a lock on her door once she finds out. Where did she even get alcohol? Are you all drinking in there? No, some older kids came by earlier with a few bottles. We shut it down right away, but I guess Gianna got a hold of one. Of course she did. That's just like her. It was just a mistake, Mr. Moon. I made sure she didn't get into any trouble. 
you know she's a good kid. One slip up doesn't change that. She is, I know. Let's just keep this little slip up between us. A girl will freak out on her and neither of them need that. But you call me right away if you ever see her at another one of these parties, you got it? Will do, Mr. Moon. Tell Gianna to call me sometime. I miss the butterflies. And her. Wow, that took a turn I wasn't expecting. I thought the kids were going to show up and the the nameless girls the, um, and say like, Miles, be doing with her. But no, it was Mr. Moon coming in. But now let's get to the future. Let's get to the present. Let's get to the now. Let's beat their ass like they deserve. Maybe we should, uh-uh. Yeah, no, 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 no. We already saw all this. So now the hitman's coming in. And I hope he takes care of business because these disgusting creatures deserve it. Little boys, little brains that have to put shit in girls' drinks to make up for their little, oh, you. What exactly are you putting in the drinks? I want to make sure I have all the details correct for when I report you to the dean. What's your problem? Just mind your business. You're lucky I'm a changed man. Because if I caught you talking like that a few weeks ago, your head would have been flushed on the toilet by now. Who even are you? Keep talking and I'll show you. Um, bro. It was just a joke, okay? We're not putting anything in the drink so you can back off. Now that's a lie and you know it. We just overheard you. And now you're trying to say we're not putting anything in the drinks? Um... Okay, listen closely. I'm, I'm I'm heated. Listen closely, since you seem to be hard of hearing. Stay away from Gianna. She doesn't want you. Oh, so this is about Gia. Mash doesn't want you either. Well, her tongue was just down my throat a minute ago, so I'd say uh, you're the only man mad here is you. She, you what? Just leave her alone. She's not into you. In fact, you repulse her. I don't know what reality you live in, but you're the one who's lucky. Even on her worst day, she is too good for you. Now, I gotta get you out of my sight before I change my mind and shove your face into that sink. I kind of wish she still did, though, because this little boy... Destroy him. Too good for me. Oh, he just really effed up. When someone tells me he can't have something, he just thinks he wouldn't even more. I think his friend knows. Dude, no, that's the hitman. The who? Do not mess with him. He does that underground fighting shit at the gym. He punches are brutal. I would have crossed him if I were you. The hitman, huh? I'm going up against the hitman. Well, now I just have to have her. Oh, this dude is so stupid. I'll go get his legendary if I take the hitman's a girl. <laughs> Even his friend is like, dude, it's the hitman. What if I take the hitman's girl in what? In abduction? Because that's the only way that's going to happen. Because it's not going to happen. Gianna, you go somewhere. She's already found her match. <laughs> Miles, what is wrong with you? This is the last time you ever come to these dorms or ever see that guy again. I wasn't planning on coming back again, but now that you're trying to tell me what to do, I just might have to stop by again. I usually I find your attitude endearing and maybe even a little sexy. I know you liked it, but this isn't one of those times. You cannot come here again. Oh, so now it's in order. They were saying horrible things about you. Talk about putting shit in the drinks. Oh my gosh. I had to get out of here before I... I made a promise to try to control my temper because you asked me to. I could have, I should have squashed those boys for talking that way. But I want to handle things differently for you. You did the right thing, Miles. I'm proud of you for not letting your anger get out of hand. I mean, I guess. I was hoping those bathrooms would have been caked in their blood. But that's okay. It's okay. He's he's doing his little anger management. He's It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to worry. He's annoying, pretentious, and smells like horse. I was going to stay away from him anyway. Oh no, what's wrong? Hey, there she is. Am I too late to be your match? Actually, yes. My uh, match was uh, some asshole that turned me down because I was too tall. What is he crazy or just stupid? I don't know. Probably both. Don't tell me that's why you're sitting here all sad. Over these chumps. I was supposed to find the match that I meant to be with. Do you really think you were going to have any luck here? Come on, you can do better, Malcolm. I hope Malcolm can work through his things because they would be a cute couple. It's just been a really crappy night. Tell me about it over drinks. I know this show place that's not too far from here. I'd love to. I think eventually Malcolm and Nova will work out. 
I think they're both not necessarily in the right place to start dating, but I think they're going to they're going to work on it and they're going to come together. But I really want to know what's wrong with Nova. She's always upset and I feel so bad for her. Ew, why are they here? Ignore the miles. Listen to Gianna and do not lose your temper. What's Vinny so scared about? Oscar that. I know it was you. What do you want now, Madden? I dropped the other woman and I've talked to the lawyer about getting the deed straight. I kept my word, so get out of my face. You forgot the last part of the deal. I know you sent your crew to break in a metamorphosis. Oh no, did you hear that, Ricky? Someone broke into the tattoo shop. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, son. I hope the repairs weren't too expensive. I am not your son. Miles, relax. You know we can't do this here. I don't get why you go so easy on Vinny. He's the one who told us all you would be here alone on that one night. Oh, oh, he what? How do you think we know you stay late for cardio on Mondays? He probably came up with the plan himself. Ricky. Oh, sorry. I forgot you two were supposed to be friends, right? They could have killed me. They swore they just wanted to scare you. I never wanted you to end up at the hospital. What the F, Vinny? Said you had my back. Miles, please, I had no other choice. They threatened my daughter. She's just a kid. I couldn't risk her life. Oh my gosh, I can't trust anyone. Miles, wait, let me explain. You asshole. Part of the deal was that he could never find out. Oh my bad. He owns more than half this place. He can shut me down if he wants. This isn't fair. First my family, now you're effing with my business. Shut up and go get the batch you owe us so we can get the hell out of here. Oh, that was just a messy experience. All right, then and there. Okay, we're with the horse still. Let's hope that no one doesn't show up. I just want to spend time with our man, Dash. You really owe me one, Dash. Your stable is almost spotless. You're welcome. Oh, he's so cute. Any plans for the holidays? Yeah, me neither. I get really anxious around this time of year. Too much food, too much family. Hey, maybe I can stay here with you. We can decorate your stable with some cool lights. I can even sneak some extra carrots for your Christmas present. Aww. Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm um, no one. I'm spending time with Dash. Like, is that a problem? I could have sworn I heard you having a full-blown conversation with the horse. And what? And what? His name is Dash and he's very sensitive. You can tell the coach that I'm done for the day. Wait, Gia, you never said bye before you left the singles mixers. I was going to ask you out. Let me take you on a real date. I'd rather get kicked in the face by Dash. Excuse me? You're excused. Gosh, you're being such a... Let me guess, the hitman got to you. Keep messing with me and I'll have him put a hit out on you. What they say is true, you know. He'll knock you out of one hit. I bet I can take him. Why, why don't you try? Actually, let's set up a little play date. How about that? Okay, bye bye now. If he's your boyfriend, then why have you been flirting with me? Flirting with you? Are you dense? I was not flirting with you. And he's not my boy. Gia, please stop doing this. So bye. Hold on just a minute. I want to know exactly what he said about me. It doesn't matter. I wasn't interested to begin with. And hearing that you were trying to put stuff in our drinks just makes it even more disgusted in you. You believe him? Are you saying he's lying? Well, he had some things to say about you too. He was a little too excited to tell us all the details about having your tongue down his throat. Girl, don't believe him. But apparently he's not even your boyfriend, so who cares, right? It's, um, none of your business. Gee, I've only known you a few weeks and I've already asked you out of you several times. That guy isn't man enough to make you after his after all this time. Drop him and come to me. I'll show you what it's like to be with a real man. You're right, Nick. Nolan. You've only known me a few weeks. Miles has known me since I was a child. We've been through a lot, and even though things might be complicated and maybe we're not the best at communicating our feelings, he's still worth hell of a lot more than you. Oh, I must have hit a nerve. Or your head. Miles has more respect for me in his left elbow than you do in your entire body. And that's why I had my tongue down his throat and not yours. Just give it time, hon. I'll have your tongue wherever I want it soon enough. Ew! Get Ugh, get over yourself, Nate. You're not that great. Hey, you can't just walk away from me. Watch me. Watch me. 
Bye bye. She just doesn't know what she wants. I'm the greatest thing that will ever happen to her. Why? This means he help. He seek help. Nolan, seek help, please. Oh, and he's laughing. Yes, please, please seek that help sooner rather than later. Let's see what happens now. We have, we've gone through a lot so far with these reveals. No, no, no. I have nothing to wear. You have the best wardrobe I've ever seen. Just throw one of your fabulous outfits together real quick and match it with an extra high heel. I can't just throw something on. This is a special occasion. A special occasion? Where exactly are you going? Um, Miles and I are hanging out. She knows. She's like, you're on a date, aren't you? So like a date. No, just dinner. It's a date. Yes, it's our very first official date. FFF, I have nothing to wear. Just hurry and put something on before the towel drops. <laughs> she said she likes me in color. You think this is good enough? So it looks like you're on your way to your funeral. Lose the jacket. Relax, man. I don't know why you and Gia get so weird with each other when things get serious. Oh, right. It's all the unresolved tension. Not helping, man. Just forget all the shit from the past and be true to your feelings. She'll follow your lead and then you two can live happily ever after whatever it is that people in love do. I gotta go. Can't be late for her. Good luck. Looks like you'll need it. He hates that it takes forever to get ready and I'm running so behind. He waited a lifetime for you. I mean, he basically already has. That must be him. Get dressed, I'll stall him. Okay, we're gonna get a cute outfit for her. This is the big moment. Outfit one, very cute. Outfit two, I actually kind of like this. And outfit three. I know some people might disagree with me, but I kind of like this. It's different for Gia. It gives me very like 90s. I don't know, we're going with this. It's the colors, it's the colors. Something different, a little different, little color thrown on there. He got flowers. You look nice. Too nice. Um, thanks. Where are you guys going tonight? I made reservations for the sushi place I thought she might like. The one next to the mall? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's one of the most expensive restaurants in town. It's really no big deal. Hey, it's Gian. And you bought pink roses. This is a date, isn't it? Where's Gianna? Right here. I'm on to you. Have fun on your not date. Hey, hey, gorgeous. Oh, oh, sheesh. Um, I've never gotten flowers for anyone before, but I remember you always said pink roses were your favorite. He remembered. I love them. Miles, it looks so pretty in my room. You didn't have to. I wanted to. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for this all week. I've been waiting for this all my life. Told you. <laughs> I love Nova so much. Okay, y'all, this is it. This is this is the real date. Christmas is next week. Yeah, I know. What's wrong? Would you like something different to eat? It's if that's okay for me to ask. No, this is the best sushi I've ever had. I'm having a great time with you, Miles. I just don't want to talk about Christmas. I've always hated the holiday season. It stresses me out. And my mom wants me to stay in Sacramento for a few days. Why don't you? Oh, gosh, she can't take a break from putting me down even for Christmas. No, 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 we're not going back for Christmas. She makes all this food and gets mad at me for not eating it. I'm sorry, Gianna, that can't be good for you. Maybe Daniel can help talk to her for you. Well, I guess she's already been talking to him about our issues and now he wants to have another family therapy session. That might not be such a bad thing. He invited you. My dad told Daniel you were part of my support system now, so he said you could come if you wanted. But don't worry about it, I'm sure you're busy. And my family problems are enough to drive anyone crazy. I'll be there. He's so good. He's such a good boyfriend. We're saying it. We're saying it now. We're putting it in the universe. I'm never too busy for you. We'll celebrate Christmas down there together. What about your mom? I haven't been really talking to her lately. Miles, you're all she has. You know she's in a bad situation. Then maybe she should try listening to her son for once and stop choosing your husband over me. Oh, it's only because she doesn't have the truth yet. It seems like I can't trust anyone anymore. That's why I don't get close to people. Everyone ends up betraying me one way or another. So getting away to Sacramento with you sounds like heaven right about now. You can trust me, Miles. I would never betray you or your heart. My fist might not be as lethal as the hitman, but I'll still knock someone out for you. I know you would love. Do you want another drink? Are you trying to get me drunk? No, but you do talk a lot when you're tipsy and I miss listening to you. 
And I'm trying to hear that laugh forever. Our night was coming to an end. I checked the time and it had already been two hours, but I felt like the only one magical moment had passed. I'm not ready to go back to Nova's. I don't want to leave them just yet. Time flies when you're with someone who feels like home. We've been here for a few hours, but it wasn't enough. I'm not ready to let her go just yet. I don't want to stop talking to her to stop looking at her. Um, so... Do you, can I, sorry, you first. No, you. Enough of this. Can I stay over at your place tonight? <gasps> oh, I am want to see sugar. Oh, do you want to see sugar or do you want to see the little hit man? Mm, just sugar? No, you too. Good, because I really miss waking up to you, butterfly. Let's go. I have horror movies, ice cream, and extra sprinkles waiting for you at home. Okay, so they're going. The end of this date night was real cute. We're going back to his house. What's going to happen here? I'm excited. So what do you want for Christmas? I want you to dress up as Santa for a Christmas party. Ah, uh, no. Please. No, but you can sit on my lap and I'll give you a present. He said, I'm going to give you milk and cookies. How about a tattoo? Really? We'll have to keep it top secret. My mom will kill me for getting another one. And then I'll kill you for giving it to me. Or, and then kill you for giving it to me. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, are you two booked to fit me in or something? I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, give, get your hands out of my sprinkles. I still don't get why you like this thing so much. They hardly even taste like anything. Good, more for me then. What? You have ice cream all over your face. Oh, yummy. She says she wipes the melted ice cream off my face right before sticking her finger in her mouth to lick it off. I like that. He's imagining other things. Yummy. I say back after not wasting a moment to get a taste of her sweet lips. Then. Oh. And the kissing commences. And the night commences because we are fading to a black screen. The next morning. Oh my goodness. It was actually such a cute first date. I am so happy that it went positive. There was no negativity. It was real cute. I couldn't sleep again. I'd rather stay awake and enjoy these precious moments with her. I've never experienced real intimacy before. It has nothing to do with the deed and everything to do with love. I love kissing Gianna. I love touching her. I love having her all over me. And sugar's right there. The whole family's here. But I almost love this more. Her fast asleep while I admire her perfection in the early morning silence. I memorize her breathing patterns and match them until we're in sync. We've escaped together to our own little world where no one can get to us, no one can hurt us. I've never felt more connected to another person than I do right now. It isn't needed to share intimacy. That's why I was so hurt when I thought when she thought that's all I wanted. I don't need more. I just need her. Uh-oh. Why sugar barking? Sugar be quiet. You're gonna wake her up and then she'll leave us again. <gasps> Mom? Shit, sorry, I love you, okay? Morning, Bonnie. Morning, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt again. Um, I'll let you two talk after you're ready for class. Wow, my I'm glad things are getting on so well between you two. We just fell asleep, Ma, nothing serious. But how about you start calling before coming over from now on? You haven't been answering my call, so I had to come talk to you in person. I want to apologize for how things went the other night. I don't want an apology, I want you to open your eyes and listen to me. Patrick has decided to put the house back into my name. I think he realized how upset you were and wanted to make it right. Doesn't that count for something he's trying, honey? It's not like he had a change of heart. You're giving him too much credit. He's only doing that because I... Gosh, Ma, why won't you just believe me? I'm trying to keep you from getting hurt because that's what Dad would have wanted. I'm not against Patrick for no reason like you think. I can't spend the rest of my life making decisions based on what your father would have wanted. He's been gone for a very long time and I had to figure out a way to move on. And you should too, honey. We'll never forget him, we'll never stop loving him, but we can't grieve him forever. 
I think you should go now. I have an early morning appointment to get to. But what about the holidays? I have a big dinner planned. I'm spending Christmas in Sacramento with Gianna. You're leaving me for Christmas? Spend it with your husband since you've chosen him over me anyway. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not choosing him over you, Miles. How could he say that? I understand you're hurt and angry, but I always chose you, Miles. Then listen to me, Ma. I don't want to hurt you with the truth, but you're going to end up finding out the hard way. He's not who you think he is. He's... What you mean is, he's not your father. No, that's not what this is about. Just forget it. You'll see for yourself. You're really leaving me. Is it really, is it because you're upset with me? We can always have Christmas dinner together. Gianna struggles around this time of year. She needs emotional support and I want to be that for her. I think that's actually the sweetest thing I've ever heard come out of your mouth. I always knew you were a big teddy bear underneath all those tattoos. I'll take you out to dinner when I get back, okay? I'll miss you, but I want you to be there for Gia. I hope, and for, I hope you can forgive me, Miles. I never meant to bring someone into our family that would divide us. And then stop letting him divide us. <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought your parents were coming to town for the holidays. Oh, um, they canceled. Too busy with work, I guess. Why don't you come with us? My mom would love to have you for Christmas. No, go ahead. I have a bunch of studying to catch up on anyways. Just don't be late for a Christmas party. I want to decorate while you're gone. Well, would you look at that? First, he shows up with flowers. Now he's here on campus ready to ride you away like Cinderella. He's early. He's in love. I gotta go. I'll see you in a few days for our party. I hope Nova's okay. Ready, I thought we could get on the road early. Ready? Can we stop for hot chocolate on the way? Wait, what is this? What is what? This is my jacket. No, it's not. Yes, it is, remember? I gave it to you when we were 15 after I found you drunk at the Christmas party. Yeah, and since then, it's been my jacket. Now let's go and get this therapy session over with. Oh, he's so she kept it all this time. This has to mean. Come on, Miles, we're going to run out of time to get our chocolate. She kept the jacket for him this whole time. I'm interested to see how the Sacramento family dinner is about to go in this therapy session. I'm a little nervous. Family therapy usually goes something like this. My mom acts like she gives a crap and I call her out on it. Then we go back and forth for a few minutes until Daniel breaks us up with his psychology mumbo jumbo. You guys have family therapy a lot. It was one of the stipulations of letting me go home from the hospital. But I have a feeling this session is going to be a bad one because I know my mom's been talking shit about me to Daniel. I'm sure your mom hasn't been (laughs) talking shit about you. Oh yes, she has. Can't you just take my side on this one, Miles? You're right, hold on. How dare she talk shit about you to Daniel? She has no idea how hard you're working. Exactly. I've been sticking to my plan of doing everything I'm supposed to. Can't she give me a break for one? In case no one told you today, I'm very proud of you, Butterfly. Thanks. Not just for having my back, but for coming with me. I really need your support. Chin up, Gianna. You're more powerful than you realize you're going to get through this. I got you, and I'm here for you to lean on every step of the way. Daddy. Yes. (laughs) Yes, love, I'm right here. Hey, sweetheart. (laughs) Nice to have you here too, Miles. Come on, everyone's already in Daniel's office. Everyone, isn't it just you and Mom? Miles, I'm glad you decided to join us today. Glad to be here. Jenna, look who came to support you today. Huh? What the hell? Howie, hey, little sis, long time no see. Howie, what are you doing here? Better question, what the F are you doing with him? Who is her brother? I ain't never heard of him before. I ain't never seen him before. Who is he? (laughs) 